Hello, I'm Nadia McKay-Dean, and let us talk about professional associations. As teachers, why is it important for us to join a professional association? So the buzzword is engagement. As teachers, we're always trying to find out new ways to get our students engaged. We spend a lot of time um, researching all sorts of activities, online games, etc., to ensure that our students are actively involved in whatever it is that we're teaching to them. It is important for us to remember that as teachers, we also need to become engaged. And one of the ways that we can ensure that we are engaged is through joining a professional association. Right. So at school, at your different schools, you have your departmental meetings, you have your in-house workshops, and I'm sure many of us are always involved in these things. It is important, however, that we ensure that we are reading professional literature and that we are also joining associations that go beyond the four walls of the institution in which we teach. So what are the benefits of joining these professional associations? Let's get into that. The first one, and perhaps the most obvious one, is networking with fellow educators. So when we join a professional association, we are ensuring that we are engaging in conversations with fellow educators. We can learn a lot through meeting other educators from different schools, comparing notes, that sort of a thing. So networking is a very important benefit of joining one of these professional associations. Secondly, as teachers, we have to ensure that we keep up to date with you know, new methodologies, new theories, new ways of doing things in the classroom. And when we join these associations, we have the opportunity for engaging in research, right? And we also have access to the research that has been carried out by members of the association. And in this way, we can add to our practice. Of course, we're all work. We're all. So we definitely have the opportunity to improve when we join these professional associations. Because many times we join and we have educators who are in this business longer than us and they can share, you know, what are some of the things that work for them? What are some of the things that they would need to improve? And we can use that to ensure that we know what we're doing when we go into the classroom. Growth as an educator. It is important that um, while we're in, while we're practicing our craft, that we do not stay stagnant, all right? It's always important to grow. And this growth can be personal, professional, all sorts of growth, all right? So we need to grow in our pedagogical knowledge. We need to grow in humility, balance, vision, diverse perspectives, collaboration, belonging, and a sense of priority, all right? These are eight things that every teacher needs in order to grow. Also, when we join professional associations, we can have access to grants and awards. A lot of these professional associations, they have opportunities for teachers to engage in all sorts of things for them to get grants for colleges and universities or for them to win awards in different categories. So this is um, an attractive benefit to joining a professional association. So I want to talk to you a little bit now about the ones that I am a part of. So as an English teacher in Jamaica, I am a part of NATE, and NATE stands for National Association of Teachers of English. Now, what is NATE? NATE is an association that was launched in 1972, and it boasts being the longest serving association in Jamaica. Um, NATE also publishes the Journal of English Teaching called JET, and this is done annually. All right. The mission of NATE is they're committed to improving English teaching through fellowship of teachers, training and support of members, facilitation of reflection and sharing of effective practice. So if you're an English teacher and you want to join NATE, you can register at their annual general conference and you'll be required to pay an annual fee. Some schools um, pay the fee for their teachers, but it's something that you can also consider paying for yourself if you want to be a member and if your school does not want to support that. All right, which I think, I don't think many schools in Jamaica would say they're not going to support you being a part of your national um, subject association all right and there's an email address there on the screen so if you want to contact them um, directly you can go ahead i'm also part of the jta i would suggest for any teacher as long as you're a teacher in jamaica i would suggest that you join the jta what are the benefits of joining the jta 
The JTA is the official association for teachers in Jamaica. We don't have another official association, all right? It is dedicated to financial, professional, and social advancement of all their members. What does the JTA do? It provides personal and professional help. It provides networking for and from peers. It helps teachers grow their social circle. And of course, all of these benefits are benefits of a professional association overall. Now, in addition to these professional associations, I also want to share with you some groups that I'm a part of. And these groups have been very beneficial to me um, as I grow my practice. So the first one is a group on Facebook. It's called CSEC English Made Easy. And as I said to you before, I'm an English teacher. So naturally, um, I would be attracted to this group. This is a group that was formed by a fellow English teacher, Miss Cherise Blair. So I have to, you know, hats, give my hats off to Miss Blair for joining, for starting this association. And as you can see, we currently have 1.8 thousand members. And these members are from not just in Jamaica, but across the region. All right. So it's called CSEC English Made Easy. So all teachers who um, of CSEC are basically a part of this group. Another group that I'm very excited about is the Bitmoji Craze for Educators. This is an international group, um, also on Facebook, especially during, the, I found this group during the pandemic. And I have to tell you, teachers, if you are as obsessed with Bitmoji as I am, you're definitely going to enjoy being a part of this group. These members, they share a lot of ideas. They're very creative. Um, sometimes I can't believe some of the things that they share and, you know, they're very kind and they will help you not just with Bitmoji, but with other tools. I definitely enjoy being a part of this group. And there are other groups that I'm on on Facebook. So you can check out these groups, Flipgrid Educators, Teachers Using Google Classroom, Nearpod Educators, English Teachers Resources, Caribbean Educators. Um, so you can check out these groups on Facebook. And there are also groups on Twitter and on Instagram. So if you're on social media, why not use social media for um, growing your professional association all right thank you for watching i do hope you learned from this presentation and remember joining a professional association is indeed very important for us to grow our practice